Hey gamers, 2023 has been one wild ride for the gaming community, filled with both highs and lows. On the positive side, we've seen a plethora of amazing games hit the shelves. But, you know, there are always those games that stood above the rest. So, after diving deep into the gaming abyss, we've picked out the shining stars that truly excelled in terms of Steam Deck support and performance. But hey, don't forget, the Steam Winter Sale is happening right now, and there's a treasure trove of fantastic games waiting for you. But, without further delay, here are Steam Deck Best Games of 2023. For the first game, we have title it as the best game that doesn't support controller. Gloomwood, an enthralling stealth horror FPS game, initially faced some performance hiccups on the Steam Deck upon its release. A bummer, considering the sheer enjoyment the game brings. But now, the tables have turned, and Gloomwood runs like a dream on the Steam Deck, offering an immersive experience traversing through a meticulously crafted city, employing a superb stealth and sound system to navigate the dangers lurking within while scavenging resources, and utilizing an arsenal to survive by any means necessary. The townsfolk are not fond of outsiders. Don't delay. The second game, we have the best battery saving game. Songs of Conquest, this fantasy gem combines strategy and magic for an unforgettable gaming experience. Lava Potion Songs of Conquest on the Steam Deck, stands out for innovative battery optimization. When idle, the game dynamically drops the frame rate, imperceptibly saving an hour of battery life. With stellar controller support, it's a must-have for your Steam Deck library. Despite its 2022 release, this year saw crucial Steam Deck testing and patches. Lava Potion's commitment makes Songs of Conquest a top choice for an enhanced gaming experience on the go, and has rightfully earned its place among the best. The third game, we have quote Mr. Sun's Hatbox, a hidden gem in the gaming world. This roguelike platformer will see you taking on missions that you must complete. Choose your hat and weapon, embark on missions and strategically build your crew by stealing hats and weapons from enemies. All of this while you upgrade your headquarters and enjoy cooperative play with friends. This game offers a refreshing blend of roguelike elements and cooperative gameplay, making it a must-try game for those seeking a distinctive gaming experience. For fourth game, we have titled it as the best game to play in short bursts, Halls of Torment, in the realm of gaming roguelike titles, have carved their niche's perfect companions for short gaming sessions. The ease of starting a run and completing it without committing hours, makes them a go-to choice. Halls of Torment not only boasts a compelling progression system, but also captivates with a nostalgic aesthetic reminiscent of the classic Diablo games. This blend of engaging gameplay and a visually pleasing design, sets it apart from the crowd. But, what truly sets Halls of Torment apart is its approach to gameplay. Each run is a casual affair, wrapping up in a maximum of 30 minutes. This makes it effortlessly accessible, allowing players to dive in, complete a session, and return at their leisure. For fifth game, we have Best Power Hungry Game on Steam Deck, Baldur's Gate 3, which earned its prestigious Game of the Year 2023 title at TGA. For a reason, it's a top-tier open-ended top-down RPG that offers an expansive range of possibilities to complete missions. From setting a trap to lure enemies into the middle of an arena to blow them all up and smearing poo on your face for Goblin Camp entry, the game provides an unparalleled level of freedom. Despite being a bit demanding on the Steam Deck, causing a notable battery drain even with adjusted settings, the sacrifices are well worth it. This phenomenal game in the palm of your hands makes it an irresistible adventure for any gaming enthusiast. It threatens all who live. It threatens the gods. The we very fabric of the universe itself. How would you feel about helping me kill some evil bastards? Black, it blesses me this day. Together, 
we might survive. I'll enjoy watching you try. In mere moments, all that you have dreaded will come to pass. When the screaming stops and your mind is gone, the rest, perhaps, is... Silence. For the sixth game, we have Dizgear 7, Vows of the Virtuous. When it comes to most RPGs and JRPGs, you can expect to invest hours and hours into the game. In this context, Dizgear 7, Vows of the Virtuous stands out as an ideal match. This tactical JRPG invites players into a realm of character creation, mission conquests, and strategic leveling up endeavors. The game's depth is truly staggering, offering a plethora of progression options for each character, from conventional leveling to enhancing abilities, reincarnation for stat boosts, and even item leveling. There are hundreds of hours worth of content here, and playing on the deck is easily the best way to do that. Disgaea 7, Vows of the Virtuous, to hell with honor! And seventh game is not another than Armored Core 6. Fires of Rubicon, it is a action-packed mech game, similar to a fast-paced so-like in many ways, where players will pilot their mech in fast pace, adding the ability to fly in omnidirectional battles, by taking advantage of massive stages, and their mech's mobility to ensure victory with four different weapons and armor. Now for 8th game, we have Yakuza Like a Dragon. There aren't many series that consistently feel great to play on the Steam Deck, but RGG Studios has done it with the Yakuza Slash Like a Dragon series. These incredible JRPGs are filled with drama, action, and comedy. As you play through the game you will gain satisfying experiences, discovering memorable stories, and partake in high-octane, real-time combat. Every game in the series, including the newest entry, Like a Dragon Gaiden. The man who erased his name also runs extremely well on the deck, and it's insane how these great games feel to play. Too mean to take on yourself. I say, with the right friends, anything's possible. And I mean anything. I summon you! What the? These are my friends. This is my quest! And we're about to rise to the top! I, I'm such a mess! I'm lost, I'm no good at this. For ninth game, we have titled it as best remake game of Steam Deck this year. System Shock, it is the fully fledged remake of the groundbreaking original from 1994, combining cult gamma play with all new HD visuals, updated controls, an overhauled interface and all new sounds and music. It even has the original voice actor of Shodan, one of gaming's most iconic villains. Night Dive Studio blew this one out of the park and solidify their dominance in the remake market. Titled as best indie game of the Steam Deck, we have Quote Dredge. It is a single-player fishing adventure with a sinister undercurrent, where you explore a mysterious archipelago with eerie scenery and addicting gameplay loop. It's very hard for me to get sucked into a single-player experience that relies solely on a single general mechanic, like fishing. But Dredge did it, and they did it well.
have played many games for fun and for some content, and if I could, I would talk about many games that I ended up loving. But for this year, I think my favorite game of the year is Cyberpunk 2077. You dive into a world where every choice you make matters, you can be a gunslinger, a hacker, a techie, a lover and a fighter with varying levels of skill and enthusiasm. It is hard to not love the game, and I found myself losing hours of hours of time playing. The game felt great, and it was a ton of fun to play. I know many of you liked it for 2023, but if you have not played the game you can give it a try, and won't regret it. Glad to see a familiar face. That's not all. I have played hundreds of games and tried many games this year also, and choosing a game that deserved the best on the Steam Deck in 2023 is externally hard, since many great games were released this year. So, for the title of best overall Steam Deck game of year 2023, goes to not another than Lies of P. The Souls-like genre feels fantastic on the deck, but this one not only looks fantastic, but has a lot of Bloodborne inspiration and is also more linear than the well-known Elden Ring. The world building, variety of enemies and weapon combination, and story is also phenomenal, and they deserve it also. What do you think you deserved it? And which Steam Deck game you like the most comment down below? Power beyond your imagination. Come back to me, Carlo! Lie to protect yourself. You stole my sister from me, rotten puppets! Be careful, clever one. Those are the best Steam Deck games of 2023. Each of them deserves to be checked out, and congratulations to each of the games listed above, and to the amazing developers who created them. Happy gaming and subscribe the channel for more gaming news and leaks.